Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a new Rails 7 application and set up React with a basic component. Okay, so let's generate a new Rails 7 application first with ES build option. So to create a new Rails application, let's switch to the terminal. Okay, and in the terminal, what you need to do, let's write uh, Rails new and then provide your application name. So whatever name that suits to you, you can provide here. I am providing Rails 7 with React. And as I mentioned, we need to generate this application using ES build option. So you can provide hyphen J equal to ES build. Okay. So why I'm using ES build here? Okay. Now let me show you that uh, if you do not generate a Rails application with ES build option, Rails will create a new app for you with import map configuration. Okay. And that will not provide you the node modules directory. Okay, and you have to pin every external node module in your Rails application and by default your app will support the stimulus JS. Okay, and now one can th think of that what is the ES build. So ES build is a bundler for JavaScript like Webpacker, Rollup and Parcel but much faster than these bundlers. Okay, in Rails this is bundled by the JS bundling Rails gem. Now let's look at our application. So our application has been generated. Okay. And after generating the Rails application, let's add the CSS bundling gem to your gem file and run the bundle store. Okay. So let's first open this project in your direct in your terminal. So let's switch to the directory Rails 7 with React. Okay. And now open this is in your preferred text editor. Okay. So I'm opening opening this is in Sublime. Okay. And come to the gem file. Okay. And here you can see that this is the gem that is added by the ES build option or when you generate your rails application with ES build option then this JS bundling rails gem will be added to your gem file okay now what we need to do is the next thing that we need to add CSS bundling gem here so add gem CSS bundling CSS bundling rails okay save this file and run the bundle install okay so bundle install I always add this gem whenever I create a new Rails 7 application because if it is a full stack Rails application then I think implementing your templates with bootstrap CSS is a better idea okay and after installing the bundle let's install the bootstrap CSS so what you need to do here Rails CSS install and then bootstrap okay and press the enter this will install the bootstrap 5 CSS into your Rails application after installing the bootstrap CSS, now let's create a controller and set the root page for your Rails application. So what you can, how you can generate the controller. So just use the generator. So Rails G controller and then home and add an end action into this controller. So we can add the index section. So Rails G controller home index and this will create a home controller with index section in it. And this will also add a default route for this. Okay. So here you can see into the config routes.rb. So we need to change this path to our root path. Okay, so let's add this root first. Okay, and then home hash index. Okay. Now we set our root path. So far, all basic setup has been done for a Rails app, and now let's install the React into your Rails app. Okay, so to install the React, let's switch to the terminal again, and we need to install React and React on npm packages. So let's run mp npm install or you can use the acronym i for as well i as well npm i and then react and react dom okay and this will install the react node modules into your rails applications okay and then we need to create couple of directories into our app javascript directory so here you can see what we have in our app directory you can see find the javascript okay so here you need to create few directories so create first uh, react okay and into the react then you need to create another directory and name it as src okay and into the src you need to create another directory and name that directory as components this is the directory where we will store our react components now in the components directory we need to create a very basic but simplest react component and name this controller as welcome.jsx okay so here create a new file into the components directory and name this file as welcome.jsx okay here just make sure one thing that you follow the 
convention followed by react okay so just start your component name with a capital letter okay and whatever name you want to provide and just start with a capital letter name okay and now in this uh, template uh, in this component what we need to do first import the react import star as react from oh sorry my space here from react okay and then we need to start the react dom because react dom will render all our component onto the browser okay so import import star as react dom okay and from react dom we need to import these react and react dom into every component that we make okay and now we need to create our component class so add const and your component name will be here so welcome okay and then welcome and here you need to implement your component body okay so and one more thing that i want to tell you that there are two type two ways to create components in react first is to you can create class based component and uh, another syntax is that you can create function oriented component so i am going with the function oriented component here okay and i follow the es6 syntax okay so it depends upon you that what uh, you want to follow okay so for this lecture or for is this entire course i will follow the uh, function oriented or function based react components okay so you can follow the same as well or if you have idea about class based component uh, then you can use that okay and now we need to return the template here okay so in the return block what we can do we can write a template here okay and make sure that whatever you write you need to write that into some parent element okay because you cannot render react data or react templates on the browser without uh, placing it inside a parent component okay so let's add here div okay and then add another div here okay and in this div what we need to do we can provide a class here because we added bootstrap here okay so you can provide class name okay and then add container here okay look at here carefully what i write class name not the regular html class tag class attribute okay so in react only class name will work not the class for example if you write this div class container then this will not work you need to write class name okay and inside this div we can add some heading text okay or some dummy text that we want to display okay so here you can write let's say hello sorry first add h1 tag and inside the h1 tag what you can write hello world okay and here welcome to the rails 7 course with react js okay and save this and after this we need to do some more element come uh, some more work here now we created our component but we need to render this component using react dom on our browser so what we need to do let's add uh, document dot add event listener okay and in that we need to provide a dom content loaded here dom content loaded okay. and then again make a function here okay and in that what we need to do react dom dot render and into the react dom react dom dot render what we need to do we need to provide our component here so what is the name of our component it is the welcome component okay and here make sure to add this syntax okay because every react component must have the elements that uh, are closed okay since this welcome is a custom html attribute so we cannot have uh, we do not have the default closing tag for this so we need to close this component like this okay and after this what you need to do document dot get element by id okay and here you need to provide id here whatever id you can mention here 
that you provide on your template so let's add welcome okay and now we need to export this function export default okay and then add your component name so this is the component that we created okay save this file after creating this component we need to create an index file into src directory because we will need this index.js file to import all our components okay and in that index.js we need to import our welcome component okay so first create a new file inside the src directory and save this file as index.js okay and into this index.js what we need to do now we need to import our welcome component so what we can do here import and provide your component name welcome okay and then from here you need to provide the path of your component okay so where our welcome component is it the component is in components directly so add components here and then your component name okay. since you are adding the component and importing the component and component is by default a JS file so you do not need to mention the file extension here okay so if you write import welcome from components and then welcome that will work okay and now we need to import this index.js into our application.js okay and application.js is in the javascript file a javascript directory okay so here i would like to tell you that first uh, disable or comment all this stimulus hotwire like imports okay or you can remove this from here as well and now let's uh, import the index.js here okay so what you need to do here let's write uh, react sorry sorry react then src and then index.js okay and save it and this is the bootstrap because we added uh, the bootstrap bundling there okay so we are all set for rendering our first create component into rails application just one step is remaining and that is open the home controllers index.html.erv and remove everything existing there already okay so because we just generated our controller using the command line so we need to import all the component uh, existing or default tag content from here so just remove that and here let's add a div element and if you remember into the welcome controller that we added an id here so document.get element by id okay so when you trying to render this component in your rails page or in your browser then in, you need to add a div or any html element with such id into your template okay so what we need to do here let's add id to this div and provide welcome okay and close this tip okay and now save this now we need to render the welcome component into the browser okay so we need to start the server but we do not need to start the rails server okay because we need to see the output of react component so we don't need to run the rail server and if you do you will only see a blank page on the browser not any react component rendering there okay let me tell you so first switch to the terminal okay and start the rail server here okay and once the rail server start just go to the browser and open the localhost 3000 so let's switch to the browser and open localhost colon 3000 okay and now the page is refreshing and you can see that an empty page is displaying here no react component is rendering okay because why because we just started the rail server we did not started the server to load the react component on our browser so what we need to do in that case we need to do we need to start our dev server using dot slash bin and then dev okay and when you start this this will run the foreman in the background and now you can see the output of your react component into the browser okay and it will ultimately start the rail server as well okay so let's uh, refresh the browser page now okay so when you refresh the page you will see the react component output here okay so hello world welcome to the rails course with react.js so now you can see that react component is rendering there to verify this you can go to your welcome controller welcome.jsx uh, template or oh, sorry component and here you can do some more text like let's say add some p element here paragraph sorry and add a class name lead 
and just add some dummy content here that is that this is the first lecture first lecture and there are many more coming save this file and now refresh your browser so when you refresh your browser now you will see that that paragraph element is displaying here so what we done here that we created a new rel7 application added bootstrap into that and then we created a new and but basic react component and then using bin dev server we are rendering that react component in the browser okay and here if you wish you can inspect the browser page as well okay and here you can see that this is the class uh, this is the id and here you can see you added class name into the react component but uh, in the dom you are still seeing the class attribute okay and same as for the p class as well okay so now react has been added into our browser or into our rails application and we are all done for this lecture here we installed the react into rail 7 app using es build and just created a very simple and basic react component now in the next lecture we will create another react component and there we will see that how to iterate through react map methods okay so till then just follow this lecture and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe